Hi, my name is Cold Beer, and let's start with Titan Station. This is a retro sci-fi adventure that takes us far into the future, in the year of 1999. Yeah, the retro future is in the past, but somehow we have all these wonderful things we managed to achieve with the technology of the past. A really cool genre reminding us of all these science fiction novels we have read in our teens. So here you are a systems operator, casual worker of the space station. But after arriving, your mundane work turns into a struggle for your very life as you make a shocking discovery. You have to believe me here, because this is not a channel of spoilers most of the time well half of the time still that counts subscribe anyway the station is connected to Saturn's moon Titan by an elevator and pipeline system really cool concept here you won't find any combat and the game itself will take about four hours to complete if you liked games like the invincible outer wilds or observation Titan station is your spoon of potato salad more than 90% of reviews on Steam are positive Mortal Kombat 1 Alright, let's be honest that this discount is still too low to get this game, especially when the base price is 70 euros. But don't get sad, just put it into your wishlist and wait for a better deal. The day will come, I promise. After a while, Mortal Kombat games get up to 90% discount, so all you need is patience. Anyway, the game offers a dynamic single-player campaign with a variety of distinct challenges, with built-in progression and even RPG mechanics. The game, of course, is old good Mortal Kombat with the new shiny graphics, some new and some old characters. And in the ridiculously overpriced premium edition you can even play as a homelander. That is really cool, he's probably my favorite superhero of all times. So all good in this field, everything is awesome except the price. The price sucks, but as I've said, not for long. Siberia, the world before. The game consists of two parts. In the first one, you will play as a girl who is beginning a brilliant career as a pianist. However, shadows begin to appear over her future at the dawn of the Second World War. And the next part of the story will take action to a year of 2004, where you will play as the girl imprisoned in the salt mine. A tragic event propels her into a new adventure in search of her identity. So here you'll play in both timelines and explore a fantastic and poetic world with its amazing sceneries. One thing I can say for sure, this game is beautiful. Of course, not as beautiful as you, my friend, but still looking very good. The art direction is at the top level, and it alone should spike your interest in this adventure game with a great story, especially if you like to solve some complicated puzzles and not crack hardest riddles. Oh yeah, sadly the game is not for the weak, it will squeeze your brain power quite well. And all that is accompanied with a symphonic soundtrack composed by Ainon Zur. You probably know his tracks from Siberia 3, Fallout, Dragon Age and Prince of Persia. Also on Steam you can try the free demo version. Black Sad. This is a gloomy game set in a New York City of the 1950s in a world of anthropomorphic animals. You will play as Black Sad, a private detective, and will have to untangle the secrets of a mysterious disappearance. This sinister case will take you to the darkest, most dismal depths of New York where you will immerse yourself in a eerily dark adventure. Game is based on comic books, but if you don't know them, it's not a problem. It's probably even better to not have any untimely bias. People on Steam are saying that this is a very interesting game with a sad satisfying deduction mechanic, probably one of the best among other detective games. Although keep in mind that the game is short, it will take you about 9 hours to finish it. Sifu. If you ever wanted to feel like Bruce Lee in his movies, then this game is definitely your spoon of potato salad. The big difference this game offers is that here enemies don't wait for their turn to beat you. So you will have to be quick, nimble and smart to defeat them all. Kung Fu is mastery achieved by practice, a path for the body and the mind. You will learn from your mistakes, unlock unique skills and find the strength to master the devastating techniques of the strongest Kung Fu style ever invented. Well, I have zero knowledge about Kung Fu to be honest. My ninjutsu martial arts teacher always said that if you can avoid the fight, avoid it. If you can't avoid it, grab an object like a chair and beat your enemies with it. Don't use your hands if you can, they hurt. Well, he also said that if a robber attacks you and you manage to knock him off, take his wallet and then pee on him. Show your dominance. And that is not a joke, my sensei really said that. Yeah, for real, leave honor for the movies. Slime Rancher 2 it seems that the second part of Slime Rancher is just as a hit as the first one, and more than 90% of positive reviews won't let me lie. Here you'll continue the adventures as you journey to Rainbow Island, a mysterious land brimming with ancient technology, unknown natural resources and an avalanche of wiggling, jiggling new slimes to discover. As you attempt to unravel the island's secrets and uncover its true purpose, you will build, ranch and farm within a beautiful conservatory, whose sparkling glass walls give you 
you a full view of the prismatic paradise you now call home. So collect slimes never seen before on the far far range. You know, like the bouncy cotton slime or the aquatic angler slime or a potato salad slime. Well, no, that even sounds wrong. No slime on my potato salad, please. Alfred Hitchcock, Vertigo. It's really hard to say anything about this game and keep my short review spoilers free, but I will try my best. So here you are a person and you do things in the world and there are adventures and dialogues and things happen. There, a true spoiler free review. I'm just kidding. Anyway, jokes aside, this is an original story about obsession, manipulation and madness, inspired by Alfred Hitchcock's masterpiece Vertigo. You will experience a powerful narrative playing tribute to the visual and storytelling techniques of the thriller genre. You will investigate what happened through the vision of three characters. Everyone has a different story to tell and in the end all the pieces will come together solving a terrible mystery. Along the way you will explore several timelines to cross-check the events and separate reality from deceptive memories. Memories. You know, reality is sometimes worse than madness. Ancestors Legacy this is a real-time strategy game influenced by historical events of the Middle Ages. Ancestors Legacy combines resource management and base building with large-scale squad-based battles across vast battlefields. It is all rendered in great detail with Unreal Engine 4. You will experience medieval bloodshed and can enjoy a cinematic action camera that puts you right in the middle of the battle. People on Steam are saying that Ancestors Legacy is easy to learn and it's like chess. It involves a lot of strategy, so the more you play, the better you become. Basically here a lot of options to crash the enemy lie in the plain sight, but only the master strategists can see them all. So the more you play, the easier the game will seem. Or not, you know, we all have our limits and sometimes our limit is below the requirements of a victory. The Moon Hell this is an action hack and slash RPG game set in a detailed and grim dark fantasy world. As you play, you will encounter puzzles and secrets that will unveil the story of this universe. And don't expect it to be some AAA kind of game. This is just a simple and beautiful indie title made by a team of two people. The combat is kinda slow and difficult, the gamepad is not supported, but the atmosphere is great. And if you are not afraid to play something new and want to enjoy interesting location design and almost glitch-free gameplay, it might be your spoon of potato salad. Great thing is that the game is not grindy, so you won't get bored quickly. Well, honestly, if you just rush through the moon hell in a hurry, it will take only 6 hours to finish. So it's roughly the size of a tutorial introduction of a AAA game. Anyway, the price is great, so why not? Hades 98% of positive reviews left by hundreds of thousands of people is the best proof that Hades is a masterpiece. This is a godlike, roguelike dungeon crawler that combines the best aspects of action RPG games and is a wonderful storyteller. As the immortal prince of the underworld, you wield powers and mythic weapons of Olympus to break free from the clutches of the god of the dead himself. You must grow strong and unravel more of the story with each unique escape attempt. Yeah, each attempt. That kinda sums up this game where you will be dying all the time. But dying is a part of Hades, it's not something you should be afraid of. And people on Steam are saying, well, it doesn't matter what they say, it's a masterpiece. They are all praising the game and saying that it is the best ever, just like potato salad. Rock of Ages 3 – Make and Break here, competitive tower defense meets arcade action and gets rolled up with quirky, Monty Python-esque humor into one huge game. This time around, you can even design and build your own levels and share your creations with players from all over the world. I ain't gonna lie, this game is loved less than two previous games. And honestly, it has ended the franchise. The biggest all-time simultaneous player peak was only 205. For example, this number for the first part is 1300 and the second part had a staggering for this style of game 2200 simultaneous player peak. That's 10 times more than the third part. But Third Rock of Ages is in no way a bad game. It failed to survive the hype train and crashed. The developers abandoned it after a few months, so it has a fair share of bugs. But for this price, it's a really good deal. I do recommend. Kina Bridge of Spirits. This is a story-driven action-adventure game which combines exploration with fast-paced combat. Everyone who played it says one thing, if Pixar made a game, it would look exactly like Kina. So he will have to untangle the past as Kina, a young spirit guide in search of the sacred mountain shrine. The game emphasizes exploration by searching every nook and cranny you will uncover numerous secrets and rewards. The combat is fast-paced and the game itself is considered as a souls-like, but just like in Jedi Fallen 
an order, you can change the difficulty to story mode and enjoy the game without dying all the time, which is nice. Remember, you don't have to prove anything to anyone. If you want to play in pussy mode, just do it. The game has above 90% of positive reviews and it is really hard to find anything negative about it. War Mongrels he will fight Nazis and show them who's the boss. The storyline is history-inspired and will guide you through the journey of two Wehrmacht soldiers. They go from deserters to hefty guerrilla fighters when they realize that everything they were told is a lie. Sneaking, distraction, silent kills and using the environment are some of the main skills you will have to learn. But a stock of firearms will also be available and useful in completing mission objectives. Well, we all know how it goes. At first you will try to be sneaky like a ninja, like a wind in the grass, like a shadow in the forest, like a silent fart you let out in front of your mother-in-law. And then you mess up everything and go guns blazing. Sometimes you will succeed, sometimes you will die and repeat, or uninstall, depending on your mood and temper. Game also has implemented co-op multiplayer for two players, so you and your imaginary friend can play together. Also what I like the most, that there is no censorship, he will encounter piles of dead bodies, blood and real Nazi flags. Amnesia, the bunker. If you played Alien Isolation, then you know the drill here. There is a monster and it's chasing you. The Bunker is a way smaller game than Alien Isolation, but it dwells on the same idea of an elusive monster inhabiting the same place as you. And if in Alien Isolation you found yourself in a giant space station, here you are trapped in a cramped underground tunnel net under the battlefield of the First World War. Don't forget that creators of Amnesia Frictional Games were the pioneers of horror games without weapons. Remember? Penumbra? Yeah, that was a gem. So I have no doubt that developers of Alien Isolation took inspiration from the Frictional Games while creating their weaponless Xenomorph game. And now Frictional Games took inspiration from Alien Isolation's monster. The circle has closed. The game is really fun, although after seeing the monster a few times, it becomes less scary. So it becomes really playable by various pussies like us. It's a wonderful survival game, and if you like the concept, you are up for a treat. Monument Valley you will embark on a journey as Ida, the silent princess, through impossible environments and illusionary puzzles. You will experience this meditative and calming puzzle game by manipulating monuments and creating evolving paths to explore new, surreal and mysterious worlds. So basically you will solve tricky but immensely satisfying puzzles with optical illusions at their core, evolve landscapes to reveal pathways that would have otherwise been impossible, and as you progress discover beautiful architecture transforming landscapes through pushing, pulling, clicking, raising, lowering and more. 98% of positive reviews is not a thing you can easily ignore. So don't! Dead Space of course, I'm speaking about the recent remaster of the game, which is a fantastic game just like the original Dead Space, but I can almost assure you that if you played it a long, long time ago, you won't spot any difference. I completed the first game more than 10 years ago, and when I watched someone play the remastered version, honestly, I couldn't see anything new. Yeah, the graphics now are shiny and beautiful, but it is exactly how I remember the original version. So the remake is a great game on two occasions. First, if you want to replay the game, and not because there is a remaster available, but because of the game itself, and second, if you never played it. In that case, I can assure you, this is one of the best horror shooter games I ever played. Well, it's more like a thriller, with a bunch of jump scares, but the atmosphere is amazing. The surroundings of the space station are made incredibly well, and the necromorphs are really creepy. Be sure that your mental balls are strong and hairy. 10 cold beers out of 10. It takes two. As you can probably imagine, this is a co-op game for two people. Here you can invite a friend to join for free with Friends Pass and together master unique and connected character abilities, help each other with the obstacles and have a great time in general. For example, my friend who's 40 plus years old and usually plays games like Detroit Become Human, Observer, The Last of Us and similar gloomy stuff played this with his wife and he said that this was the best game he tried in half a year. So it's obvious that the game has no age or genre restrictions, it's just pure fun. So grab your mother-in-law and have fun together. It Takes Two has overwhelmingly positive reviews, but that's probably obvious as well. Horror Tales The Vine 
You'll explore the forsaken capital of the beautiful archipelago. Do not let yourself be fooled by the gentle sea breeze, the Mediterranean weather or the comforting summer sun. Since the pandemic ravaged the city, it was abandoned and now only horrific nightmares await you here. And I'm serious, someone is relentlessly hunting you. You will also solve environmental riddles, physics puzzles and other similar challenges in an interconnected vertical world, even while being chased and hunted. Although be prepared, this game is filled with gem scares, so it is best played in great combat with some people behind you. Also keep in mind that this game is made only by one dude. Hitman – World of Assassination this is probably the best Hitman experience possible nowadays. You'll visit more than 20 different locations, unlock new gear, travel a living and breathing world filled with intriguing characters and lethal opportunities. With this bundle you will get Hitman 3 game, with 6 DLCs, VR mode and access to all Hitman 1 and Hitman 2 missions. People on Steam are saying that this is an amazing experience, very sandboxish and will provide many hours of fun, although it has one big flaw. You know, every witness asked about have you seen anything strange? We'll tell you about a tall, bald man with a barcode tattoo. Most of the time the tattoo is visible for everyone. It, it's really dumb. Patron. This is a survival city builder with an interesting social dynamic system. You'll gather and produce resources, build your village into a prosperous city and navigate the intricate social tensions before they reach boiling point. <laughs> and if they do, everything you have built, everything you put so much energy and brain into will burn to the ground. And by that you will fail that survival part of the game. You know, here each individual citizen in the town has their needs, desires and issues troubling them or making them happy. Some some citizens are more concerned with immigration, while others are more aggravated by tax-related issues or the increasing price of potato salad ingredients. If the citizens' view on the subject is in line with what you are doing, they will be happy. Works the other way around as well. Patreon has mostly positive review score, but it also has a free demo available, so you can try the game without risking anything. Black Gazer, Couriers of Darkness before the release, the game was a bit in trouble for looking almost exactly like Pillars of Eternity. That summoned a bit of disappointment from the players, but now the outcome is almost a happy one. For example, recent reviews are in the very positive range. So in Black Gazer, you will be thrown into a brewing civil war between the capital city and the wealthy mining town. To participate in these events, you will be able to create your hero and choose out of five playable races and then out of four classes. I think it's enough, because I doubt that you will play the game for the second time anyway. Although keep in mind that the game is poorly optimized and sometimes runs with stuttering even on high-end machines. That is a shame because it looks like it was made 20 years ago. Anyway, if you are okay with some frame drops here and there, love games like Baldur's Gate, it may be a thing that you are looking for. Riddles and Sieges this is a medieval puzzle game where you use all siege weapons to solve puzzles. So let's be fair, when some castle was under siege in the medieval times, a warlord had to solve the puzzle. How to crack walls, how to tactically lay out ballistas and trebuchets, how to enter the enemy's stronghold, milk all the citizens and rape all the goats. Well, I might have confused a thing or two, but the fact is, every medieval siege was an actual puzzle. So here each building works and attacks differently, for example, a catapult shoots over a tile. Trebuchet does the same but has a delay before attacking, and Ballista only attacks when being destroyed. Wait, what? I know, whatever man. So he will encounter 55 handcrafted levels, with each one being harder than the previous one. Also, you can make your own levels and test your friends. Stray. The game has an overwhelmingly positive review score and is worthy of the full price without a doubt, but now you can obtain it for a little bit cheaper. This is a cat simulator, but not a usual one, if you know some usual ones, because the game is set in a cyberpunk world and that stirs the pot a bit. The game is a third-person cat adventure set in a detailed neon-lit alleys of a decaying cyber city and the murky environments of its seedy underbelly. You can roam surroundings high and low, defend against unforeseen threats and solve the mysteries of this unwelcoming place inhabited by nothing but unassuming droids, dangerous creatures and things. You know, like evil duct tape. I it's your enemy. If in your life a cat ever owned you, you know why. The Shore 
I have played this game while it was still in development and I was really impressed by the grand scale of some creatures and entities that roam this Lovecraftian world. And by saying Lovecraftian, I really mean it. You will literally encounter Cthulhu himself. So basically the show is a game about the mystery of the unknown set on a forbidden island filled with horrors. You will take control of Andrew, a father searching for his lost daughter and while doing the searching part you will awaken a cosmic horror or two. Or, you know, four or seven. This game is filled with them. Although keep in mind that it is not flawless. It has some bugs, some invisible walls and terrible combat. Although fighting is not the main aspect of the show, that's for sure. Anyway, for this price I can really recommend this game if you like dark stories, Lovecraftian worlds, your mother-in-law and creepy vibes in general. Also it has photorealistic graphics and looks amazing. Days Gone this is an open-world action-adventure game set in a harsh wilderness two years after a devastating global pandemic, which made a lot of zombies out of unlucky humans. Here you will take control of a bounty hunter trying to find a reason to live in a land surrounded by death. You will scavenge through abandoned settlements for equipment to craft valuable items and weapons, or take your chances with other survivors. Days Gone has very positive reviews on Steam, so if you like zombies, give it a try. Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, Game of the Year Edition. In the first part of Middle Earth, you will fight through Mordor and uncover the secret of the spirit that compels you. You will discover the origins of the Rings of Power, build your legend and ultimately confront the evil of Sauron. The best thing about playing Shadow of Mordor is that it makes you feel overpowered without sacrificing the fear of defeat. You will enjoy great fast-paced combat and a nice good-looking open world full of Lord of the Rings lore. If you are a fan of Tolkien's books or Lord of the Rings movies, then this game will for sure do a a little bit extra to make you happy. The plot of the game is okayish, you will find nothing very fancy or mind-blowing here. Despite that, the flow, the pace of the game will not let you get bored, that's for sure. And this version of the game includes new missions. You will have to face Sauron's elite defenders before the Black Gate, dive deeper into Mordor's living world and hunt the wild beasts, and battle against Sauron as Celebrimbor, the great elven lord of the Second Age to unlock powerful runes and the ability to wield the One Ring. That is awesome and the game is awesome as well. And now thank you for watching and don't forget that in my channel you can find hundreds of videos like that with new ones released almost every day. Have a nice day and I'll see you next time.